So my first saw when I was started backpacking, and I think a lot of people do this because it's handy at Walmart, is the Coughlin saw, the, the folding saw. And the actual model name for this is the Sierra saw. And it's a seven inch steel, tempered steel, flexible. Um, it has a locking mechanism. And it is a pretty handy, lightweight saw. It weighs five and a half ounces. You can get it on Amazon for about 10 bucks. I think Walmart's might be a little cheaper, I'm not sure. But this is what I use. And I will still use this to, for lighter branches. Uh, it's just handy to have. So this is the first one I used. Sierra from Coglins. See that? Huh? Huh? Okay. So let's move on to the next one. All right. So the next one that I have is the Sven saw. Now this is a very popular one and rightly so. It's lightweight. It gets the job done. It cuts very well and it's pretty easy to break down and put together. It's easy, but not easiest. So I'll explain that what I mean by that in a minute. And I have a few problems, a few cons with this because the diameter of this one, I think this is the 15. You can also get a 21, a 21 inch, but I think this is the 15. And the problem I have with this is this wing nut right here. When I put this in my pack and I'll demonstrate this uh, with some B-roll right here, but when I put this in my pack, Either way that I put it, if I put it like this on the side or if I put it with the wing nut down, it has the propensity or has the ability to or potential to cause a hole in the side pocket. So I love this saw and I will still continue to use it. I'll bring it on um, probably shorter hikes, shorter camp, camp outs. But the thing I don't like about it, I wish they had like a silicone cap that you could put on the end of it that would, you know, kind of save your backpack a little bit. Okay, so the price for the Sven saw is, the one I saw on Amazon, was $35. And this weighs about 7 ounces. So a little bit more than the Coglins, but still uh, not a lot. Like I said, the only con to this is the potential for it to mess up my backpack side pocket. Other than that, I have no complaints. Okay, so the final saw and my favorite one, and the one I use more often, is the Agawa Canyon Boreal 21. It's a folding saw, it's 21 inches. Uh, the blade is 21 inches. The weight of this item is 1.2 pounds, so a little heavier than the other two. There's a couple of things I like about it. The ease of setting it up, as well as the fact that on the end of it, it kind of has a it's kind of rounded and will not mess up the side pocket of my backpack i guess if i put it on this end it will but i always i always put it on the side panel like this or side pocket like this so i'm gonna fix the camera here and i'm gonna show you how i set it up um and we'll and you'll see why i like it so much okay so here's the reason i like it it's very easy to put up you simply undo it Pull this around, and your hand never touches the blade. You put this in here, wait for the snap, and you've got your saw. And it's the tension on this is very tight. The blade is actually very easy to change. You just pop this out, pop one out on the other end, and replace the blade and pop them back in. So, but look at the, I specifically like the, the width here of, of the kind of wood that I can, that I can saw. And I use this one mainly in the winter, but I do like it. I do like it. And I forgot to mention this, this comes in at a whopping $68.95 on Amazon. So much more expensive, but much easier to use. Like I said, a lot heavier, but I have taken this to, to different gatherings. I took it to the Ohio YouTuber meetup and people were raving about it. In fact, I think I was one of the only people that had a saw uh, there, but people were raving about it. They loved it. So now I'm gonna show you the difference in setting up the Sven saw and why it's a little, takes a little longer. So you undo the wing nut here. You 
take the saw out. Now, you have the potential to cut yourself here if you're not careful. You put this in the slot. And you put the bolt I said this one's not as easy. There. And then you replace the wing nut. And tighten it down. Now, it does have tension on it as well. However, there is a little bit more play to it. So that is the Sven saw. So here, there you have it. Those are the three saws that I use, my progress with. The Agawa Canyon is my favorite. It's the heaviest, it's the most expensive. It'll do the least amount of damage to your pack. It's the one that I recommend for winter camping, especially because you can cut larger diameter logs because you're gonna need a longer fire for winter camping. The uh, Coglins is good for when you're doing through hikes and you're just gonna have a fire, brief fire overnight. Uh, you're just going to have a fire to get comfortable and and then get in your you know tent or your hammock and the spin saw is somewhere in the middle so depending on what price you want to pay depending on how much weight you're comfortable carrying and depending on what kind of saw you want to use now i didn't mention another saw that i haven't tried that a lot of people use and that's the silky big boy or that type it's similar to the coglins but it's much bigger and yes, you can cut larger wood with that. I haven't used that yet, so I'm not able to recommend one way or the other. Anyway, if you like this video, I hope you do. Like, subscribe, and share it. And always remember to get out there and explore, and we'll see you later. Peace.